We're live! Oh, hello, hello! Welcome to this edition of Entity Clearing for a Massive Change. <laughs> We're in a room with other people in a foundation in Denver, and sometimes they forget that we're live on <laughs> What an amazing event this has been. Totally. Oh, I've just I've been listening to it and it's just so cool to have the sense of the different people on the different parts of the planet, what they can reach out to and contribute to. And I'm so curious what, what we can create today. No. Yeah. And like even just asking, you know, how many entities are you do you have the capacity of clearing at one time sometimes you might like presume that it's only one or a couple or a few but really is it like hundreds uh, or thousands or millions right and so how many are, yeah go, go ahead go for it what were you gonna say Saying like how many entities are we facilitating and inviting to a different choice just by just by doing this wow and you know, one thing that I just love to kind of ponder is, you know, what a gift it is. If I died in like some crazy accident or was on all sorts of medications and I just didn't realize that I had didn't have my body anymore, what a cool thing to have somebody somewhere just ask these questions to assist, you know? Have your back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So who else can we contribute to that may be a little unclear? Yes. Totally. <laughs> so let's jump in. Let's do it. All right. The the OG entity clearings. Uh, truth. Oh, who are all of you? Hello, everybody. Truth, who were all of you before that? Ooh. And before that? And truth, who were all of you before that? And before that, and before that, and before that, and before that, and before that. In truth, who will all of you be in the future? You can all go. Goodbye. And truth, what are all of you? What were all of you before that? 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 And what will all of you be in the future? You can all go. Sayonara. <laughs> and truth, what are all of your jobs? How long have you been working at those jobs? But truth, what were your jobs before that? <laughs> before that. And what were your jobs before that? And before that? And before that? And before that? And before that? And, before that? and what will your jobs be in the future? <sighs> You have choice. <laughs> Everything that doesn't allow that, would you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all night, shorts, boys, pobets, and beyonds. And goodbye. You can all go now. <laughs> and just to clear the air for the next part of the clearings, destroy and uncreate all of the magnetic and electromagnetic and chemical imprinting connected to any and all of that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povids, and beyonds. Wow. And then also, it's just so cool to, like, perceive in all of the ways that we perceive. But for me right now, one thing that's really coming up is perceiving with my body. Like, as we're doing this, it's just like, whoa. So what are all of you perceiving as, as we're clearing things? And how much more ease can you have with perceiving entities and energies? and everything that doesn't allow you to have total ease with clearing, communicating, receiving from, perceiving, facilitating entities, facilitating entities and energies, which you destroy and uncreate all of that. Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. So all of the ancestral entity, no, all of the drug and alcohol entities, we have a list. I'm doing the list. I'm straight. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All of the drug and alcohol entities, truth, will you dissipate and release and destroy and uncreate all of the drugs, alcohol, chemicals from your systems, bodies, structures, and universes? 
right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys. Yeah. And then we can just kind of let those entities like dissipate and release that until they get a little more clear and then we'll we'll say hello to them again in a moment. Jeez. We happen to be in Denver too. I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> and also, mansion. Wait, what was that? At the old Playboy Mansion. There's Megan Hill right there. Just clear. A few people we're letting go up right now. There's everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. So then all of the ancestral entities. Hello, everybody who we've all had as family members. How are all of you guys? <laughs> Would you all destroy and uncreate all of your oaths, vows, fealties, communities, commitments, binding and bonding, contracts, and promises to all of those ancestral entities and to their ancestral entities, your ancestral entities, everything that is? Will you revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate all of that times a godzillion? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pobats, and beyonds. Wow. And oh. well, you guys, you can either, you have choice now. Yeah. So who are all of you now? Who were all of you before that? Who were all of you before that? What family did you have before that? What family did you have before that? Who were you before that? What were you all before that? And what were all of your jobs before that? And who, what, where, when, why, and how would you all like to be in the future? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. And anywhere that any of you have committed to making a body for some ancestor and they're still uh, hanging out, trying to tell you who to hook up with, <laughs> who is really just wonderfully attractive. Uh, <laughs> And would you destroy and uncreate all of the commitments that you've made to make a body for some other ancestor that don't allow you to have the choice of what would create greater? Mm -hmm. And don't allow them to have choice either. Right, right. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, online, shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. You guys are free to not be part of that family anymore and you can go now. Now, yes, you're all free to not be part of the family anymore, and you are free to go. That's what you said. That's what I said. We really needed to say that because sometimes you get so locked into a family <laughs> that the, like, I just want to say a quick little thing. Uh, so my last name is Gilliam, and uh, my my family has always been like the Gilliams, the Gilliams, this and that. But then recently, we discovered that actually my great grandmother had an affair, and we're not Gilliams at all. <laughs> it's funny. It's like more than other people that I know, there's been this like, oh, must be part of the Gilliams. And it's not even true. So like, what if it doesn't even have to be true and everywhere that any of you or the ancestors that we're talking to have been trying to like put some structure and solidity into the righteousness of family that's not even relevant. Like yeah. it may not even really be your family. <laughs> <laughs> Would you destroy and create all of that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call nine shirts, boys, povets, and beyonds. That's funny. <laughs> all of the demons. Hello, demons. <laughs> all demons return to from whence you came, never to return to us, our bodies, or this reality ever again. Return to from whence you came, never to return to you, your body, or this reality ever again. Return to from whence you came, never to return to you, your bodies, or this reality ever again. Go back to from whence you came, never to return to you, your bodies, or this reality ever again. Go back to from whence you came, never to return to you, your bodies, or this reality ever again. And return to from whence you came, never to return to us, our bodies, or this reality ever again. And destroy and uncreate all of the magnetic and electromagnetic and chemical imprinting. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. And that's a really useful clearing to know that you can always play with because uh, people like to make demons really significant. But the demons make themselves significant by saying, like, you can't do anything without me and you need me and I love you. And there's all of this kind of 
funny energy around like how uh, you you have to either hide that you've had demon relationships or that demons are in your world or you pretend that that's not the case. And so anywhere that you notice that like the just total disempowerment of you from entities, first of all, you can just break up with all of those entities and breaking up with demon entities can seem at first it may seem like i can't do that but then as you choose to it gives you such a level of freedom and it's just amazing how simple it is by just saying like go back to from whence you came they like actually are willing to and you are so potent that you can tell them what to do so just knowing that you have that tool is keep it close at hand. They actually don't even want to be here anymore. So yeah. win, 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 win all around the board. Right. <laughs> and then we have the techie entities. Techie entities. Hello, techies. Good job trying to make things really unpleasant. You've been very <laughs> successful. Now <laughs> return to from whence you came never to return to this reality ever again. Return to from whence you came, never to return to this reality ever again. Return to from whence you came, never to return again. Return to from whence you came, never to return again. We're done with the techie experiment. I think that is a creative. Right wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only choice, voice, pose, the yes. Awesome. Wow. Wow. And just again, what a gift for everybody that's like watching this now and in the future. Like, thank you for all that you are reaching out to and touching and changing. <laughs> I think the camera uh, autism. Megan just took a picture and I couldn't help but stare at it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We've been talking about these entities that are, that are like no fun to be around. Yeah. Basically, even if it seems like it'd be fun, they like the the actual energy is heavy and doesn't allow for like the expansion of your being and consciousness. And then there are a lot of beings that actually desire to contribute to you, that contribute to things exponentializing and becoming even greater like all of your teammates and the beings of light and the nature spirits too and you know allow yourself to reach out to all of these beings that are here to create greater consciousness with all of us and let's ask them to contribute beyond your thinking, beyond your trying to understand it, beyond your control. And everything that doesn't allow that, time is a godzillion, wow, wow, would you destroy and uncreate it all. Yes. Oh, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povets, and beyonds. Yay. Yay. And how can your own personal and unique adventure with entities turn out even greater than you ever could have imagined? What are the infinite possibilities? And what can you now receive, contribute, you know, cooperate with in regards to entities that you have, no one has ever considered or has never existed before in this reality, with this reality? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys, povids, and beyonds. Yeah, you may have capacities that are, well, A, that you've never acknowledged and that are so different, just like Allison was saying about that, like nobody else has ever done this the way that you can, you know? And so would you allow yourself to really go ahead and step into acknowledging the gift of your awareness and the difference of your awareness and allowing that to like kind of expand through your whole world and contribute to everything. And everything that doesn't allow that, would you destroy and uncreate it? Yes! Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. 
Yay! Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. What a gift. Next time. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>